come to the Kwanzaa River in Angola, which is one of my absolute favorite places in the whole world. We're going to be going offshore, fishing outside the river mouth. There's a lot of fresh water coming out of the river at the moment, so a lot of those saltwater species aren't in the river now. So you find where the fresh water and the saltwater mix, and there's lots of bait and lots of food. And I understand that there's a lot of jacks around. That's a species of, of trevally, or what we call kingfish in South Africa. There are two species you get in this area, so we'll be hunting those. We've got a, a little patch of reef out here that we found out in the, in the ocean a couple of miles offshore. And uh, we're going to do a few drifts over it and just throw some, some big poppers and maybe work it with some drop shot and just see what's around there. You know, a different part of the world, different area. Every time you stop in a place, you don't know what you're going to get. So it's pretty exciting. And uh, just can't wait to see what comes out of this reef. Well, that's some of the most exciting fishing you can have, especially if you're like me and you love surface action. These fish are just going bananas on the top. And uh, <laughs> going absolutely bananas on the top, chasing the plug. And it's actually quite nice that they're missing it so much because you're getting so much value for every for every fish you're getting about 10 strikes and that is actually what uh, what gets the pulse rate up and you're just seeing like these shoals of torpedoes coming in on the lure smashing at it turning sideways and uh, hitting it out of the water Spectacular. And they are strong fish too. But for their size, these guys pack a lot of punch. Eh? Another Senegal Jack. Beautiful. Right, I'm ready with you. I'll keep him in the water, yeah? He was a Senegal as well. Senegal, yeah. I've got a whole shoal of them. Well, there we go. Quick double up on Senegal jacks. At this sort of size fish, there's just massive shoals of them. There are plenty of them all over the place. And it's absolute mayhem. It's so exciting. Let's get them back in the water. All right, you're free to go. No way he swims. Little beauty. Man, I love Angola. Right, well, this live bait got picked up by something and it took off sort of slow. It started off slowly, then it picked up quite a bit of speed. And it feels like it's got some weight to it, but it hasn't come out of the water. I'm not feeling any big head shakes that you normally get with the, with the big jacks though, so at this point not too sure what it is, but it actually started off slow and then it picked up some speed. Jack. Okay. Two hands, two hands. Okay. Got him? One, two, three. Got him? Yeah. He's recovered quite a lot. Right, well that's a, a really good um, specimen of a Jack Crevel. Just about as big as they get. And look at the size of the tail on that fish. They're absolutely incredibly powerful fighting fish. They fight uh, just as hard and maybe even harder than GTs. And the Jack Crevel is easy to identify. You see he's got that very yellow anal fin and that big black spot on the top of his gill plate. Off you go, buddy. It's sort of under the butt and he did a big kick. But, uh, cheers, oh, thank nice. you, that was a nice fish.